everybody you follow us in this is Sierra. Sierra was iconic back in the day. Um, they had a couple interesting things going on. Um, internet forums. They basically invented the Hints book um, because we had just started with the internet. I think it was 1993 CompuServe started up and the next year AOL started up. So we would go and we would find each other on these trying to figure out our way past puzzles. What, how do I get past, you know, and it, what would happen is we would just dead end and really not be able to get any further in the gameplay. So that was the original, you know, do we arcade our way through it? Is, are we going to continue to use item combos that um, adventure gaming ran into, especially on our personal computers? So we would go in and find each other. Um, Sierra came up with the idea. Um, it might have been the Williams. It might have been Sierra. Came up with the idea to use um, Hints Box. So that's, we started to... Um, get a little bit more into it with that and eventually forums did fall off because they got taken over by people who wanted to talk about tennis and stuff that was more popular so um reddit now pretty much owns the internet as far as that goes so we are in the dragon slayer the proverbial dragon slayer um if you know sierra at all you know king graham you know his story here he is as a wee lad and he's trying to um Trying to find a way, basically. Um, the dragon down there, down me, that dragon down there has one of the three tre treasures that will allow him to take the throne back from a dying king. So the king is. He moves away from the mirror. Okay, he moves away from the mirror. You're watching this with me. Touch the wheel again. He's got the steak and he's eating it. This should drop me right by that. Here. Don't get eaten, don't get eaten, don't get eaten, don't get eaten. Don't get eaten, don't get eaten. We later find our wife with us. Oh my gosh. Wow, thank god I'm a good shot. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going arcade. Alrighty. It's, it got real. Something. I die. Oh, I don't die. Okay, I don't. There's no dying. No. I'm not doing that today. Smash it. I just died. I can already tell you I died. I know that I died. Can you put my mouthwash back in the shelf? Where was I? Thank you, friend. I can do this. All right, so I got my bow out for a reason. I guess we shoot maybe we shoot the... Oh, we shoot the rope, doll. You know, I know things. I, this is very obvious to me. The parent, even. <laughs> this is what I do. <gasps> oh, that's bad. Bad, 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 bad. I'm articulate. I'm articulate. No, don't die. Get down. Grim, can't you do this yourself? I have stress issues. I mean, not really, but caffeine. The occasional what now? We're gonna jump this? That's a horrible idea. <laughs> How am I gonna escape with this mirror? In the first one, you just put the dragon out with a bucket of water. All you have to do is get down the well. This is nonsense. We're surfing a mattress out. <gasps> one final obstacle. Two final obstacles. Oh my gosh! Okay, well, no, and that was. No. I guess you could say that river swept me off my feet. Wow. Tell you what. One final, okay, two final options. Oh, I drop it onto him? Holy cow.
Oh, nice patch. Run. Run. You want to, like, make something happen here, funny boy? Let me oh. guess. You escaped with only a flesh wound. True, true facts, man. What on earth? What are my options here? Hold on. So I catch my cap. I can't move. Dragon's coming for me. This is very um, Dragon Slayer. If you enjoyed that in um, the arcade, it kind of does a little bit of. The Let me guess. You skip. Oh, what? What am I trying to do here? Does S bring me like forward? Like, did they change it so that it's that arcade setup where you just pull the joystick? Like, what would be a joystick? I suppose that would be All right, run towards me. It's me, amigo. Ram. Senor. Here we go. Who's the smartest boy in the pack? It's you. That's definitely what it is. No, we don't want to get squished. It seems unfortunate. Hi! Whew. How's your day going? <laughs> Alright, let's run With our way back out of here. Mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the Daventry I would be rewarded with. And the kingdom it could become. King Graham really was a good king. I mean, being a part of his story was a huge part of the 90s for a lot of us. In that split second, I had three choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety and all would have rippling consequences. I don't see the three choices, I see one choice. Where were the other two? I could... oh wow, okay. Obviously we set the dragon free, what could be smarter? <laughs> Um, the dragon does stay behind. You go through a secret door in the first one. But obviously that's not how King Graham remembers it. So there's a little my bit more story going on there. My hands were shaking and my arms could barely grip the rope. But with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. But... Only to my stuff bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been. Though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. 
It's a really moving game mechanic of having him tell the story to his granddaughter. It brings a lot of us back to the original adventures. If you're going to do a reboot, this is one way to do it. They did an incredible job where he's obviously going to be the authority and override any lore protesters or, you know, rules lawyers that would have said otherwise. You also get to see his family again. Cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and we'll make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. They were remarkably fe feminist for the time. Uh, Rosella got her own adventure in Kings Quest IV. That's uh, where she picks up the magical fruit that he's referring to. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get two of those. No need to fuss over me. Now let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Death maneuver. Quick-witted distraction. Precision through practice and a deft maneuver or two. Train harder and follow your instincts. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. So we'll put a pin in it here. Um, well, we get... Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. Oh my god, <laughs> look how cute you are! I want one! Little bunnies. Little bunnies. What on earth? Did he just jump off the down slope? So you get on the extended adventures of King Graham. Bringing back a very beloved character. We love you guys. We love that you're always along for the ride. Link is in the description below if you do want to play it yourself. The first chapter is great. So definitely check it out. Play your way through it. We love it. Um, we love that you get to go back and experience that part of gaming history. And, you know, especially since it was made by the experts in gaming. 
They're bringing a lot to the table in the way of game mechanics, the way things were, the way things are, and putting that together. And After it. gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. This is one of the most masterful reboots I've ever seen anyways. So... We love you guys. We love that you're always along for the ride. Link in the description below if you want to play along. Also down there is Gamer Grind. We did partner with the Gamer Co-op. They have Gamer Coffee delivered to your door. Or they will put your logo on merch for nothing bucks. You can support the Pirate Queen and what to play next. KOFI is down there. It's a social network. Buy this cheap coffee. One dollar. Make me smile. All of my social links are down there. Liking, subscribing, commenting. That's always free. So smash the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you'll be able to see a little thumbnail of what pops up, what we're covering and what you know it brought to the table you'll probably be able to guess from the title in the picture but if you can't that's fine um this is an awesome game and it brings something awesome to the table but if you do want to skip these as they pop up that's fine you know we love hearing from you guys we also love you if you're lurkers so you know stay safe game on hit the subscribe button hit the bell and we will see you in the next video